Looking for a VPN? Well, private internet access has got you covered. With up to five devices and unlimited data for Mac, Windows, Linux, and even Google Chrome, check them out at the link below. What's up guys, CP Motta here back with another video and today we're here back with a back to school guide for tech for 2019. Damn, that sentence had a lot of backs in it. Anyway, today we're going to be talking about a couple things that you should definitely grab before jumping back to school or college or classes or really wherever you may be going back to because these things will make your life easier or just an even bit more better. More better? A lot better. Mm, yeah, anyway, if I did go ahead and miss something, you can let me know down in that comment sections. And today we're gonna kick off our list with an external SSD drive. Now recently we checked out this little guy, the King Gen P10, which is a really nice little portable SSD. It's very small, compact, and comes in a lot of different sizes. And also too, uh, is fairly rugged. It's an SSD that can be thrown around in your bag and I absolutely love them about it. Now, if you wanna go a little bit more expensive, you can get basically exactly the same drive, but from Samsung, which goes ahead and well offers you the Samsung reliability there. That being said, the King Den drives are low cost and I've been using mine just about all the time for a lot of things like VM, quick little file transfers and anything that needs speed, but also too, I don't want to spend an arm and a leg actually saving files on. So um, little portable SSD or portable hard drive is something I do really recommend. Now in the hard drive space, we are looking at the old trusty WD Elements hard drive. These things are low cost and work for just about any task you may be doing. Inside of these guys usually feature a WD blue or even a WD black in some cases. So you know you're getting a pretty decent drive inside of this guy. And uh, all in all, we've both checked out these drives which will pop up there at some point. Now both these guys are really cheap. This guy right here is a 240 gigabyte drive, less than $100. And also to that WD one terabyte drive can come in at close to $50. I mean, I remember when I first started university, a one terabyte drive was well over $100. And that was only a couple years ago. Now they're down to like $50. So getting yourself some proper storage is an absolute no brainer. And in my mind, an absolute must. Now that we've actually got somewhere to store our data, we need to make sure things are backed up. Now, unfortunately I can't hold this because that is a copy of Backblaze. Now, Backblaze is an unlimited data backup service that I've been talking about forever and ever. It is cloud-based, so no matter where you are, no matter what computer, no matter what, you have access to the files and is a real-time backup, so you never lose anything. Personally, I have unfortunately lost tons and tons of data, but all been completely recovered thanks to the Backblaze service. And for such a low price each month, it is an absolute no-brainer, especially if your school or college or classes don't actually offer you any cloud storage or any sort of backup solutions, this is an absolute must. I've worked unfortunately in a PC store where someone came in, well, I guess it's not unfortunate that I worked there, but I worked in a PC store where unfortunately someone came in with a dead external hard drive that had their whole master's degree on it and they could not get it recovered. If they simply had have just backed up their work, they would have pushed the download button, waited five to 10 minutes for the download to get ready, and boom, they could have downloaded their work again. 10 out of 10, absolutely recommend it. And speaking of 10 out of 10, we also too need to keep our drives and systems secure. Sure, you can back up all your data, but you need to do this secure, and PIA has got us covered. Now, I'm sure you've heard me talk about PIA at the start of a lot of our videos, but all seriousness, having a good VPN is actually really important as a student. Unfortunately myself, I've had to go ahead and jump on public Wi-Fi networks because I've needed to download something, I needed to quickly upload a file, I needed to view something, and either I had run out of data on my phone or something like that where I had to use public Wi-Fi. And thanks to the fact that I had uh, PIA installed, I was able to do this all with no problems right here. So having a good VPN, especially as a student, is really, really handy. Now PIA themselves offer unlimited data each month with support for Mac, Windows, Google Chrome, Linux, and basically everything you can think of with up to five devices per account. So whilst I'm not supposed to tell you guys this, if you've got some friends and you sign into the same account, you could be saving some money. But anyway, you didn't hear that from me. Going ahead and grabbing yourself a VPN is definitely something that is extremely important as a student and as myself as a student is something that is absolutely invaluable. Now do note, 
Yes, some schools do have a rule against using VPNs in classrooms, so do go ahead and check your school's policies. But all in all, especially on the go, if you need to jump down to a cafe or something and use the Wi-Fi, keep yourself secure with a VPN. Next up, we have a good set of tools. Now, you're thinking, hang on a second, what does tools got to do with going back to school? Well, tools are just something that I always recommend in one of these things because there are so much you can do with them. And especially as a student, when you're traveling around a lot, there's a very high chance that something's gonna get broken or you need to clean something or you need to work on something. And having a good set of tools is really, really invaluable. I remember one weekend I was pulling apart my MacBook and I didn't have a proper uh, toolkit back years and years ago. And um, I didn't have the right screwdriver. I managed to undo the screw, but I couldn't tighten it up. Class came around on Monday and I still couldn't get the computer back together. So having a proper toolkit, whether you just want to change the thermal paste on your laptop or blow out the dust, having something that can get a system open and close it back up is something that is really important. Now mine, is a very old iFixit toolkit and there's a lot of different toolkits out there. Personally, I love the iFixit tools. I've had no problems after like years and years and years of use of this guy, but um, is something that I just recommend very, very strongly and will be linked with the rest of the stuff down in that description box. Again, whilst this won't really help you in the classroom or help you to store data, it is something that you should always either have with you or just have because it saves so many headaches. And even if it's something like if you wear glasses and your glasses come loose, being able to tighten them up with a proper screwdriver set, something really, really valuable. Now, speaking of something that's really valuable that I've unfortunately forgot to grab off my shelf and now I'm recording a video, but that is the Sennheiser CX 3.0 earbuds. Having some good audio is an absolute essential and a must, especially if you grab public transport all the time from to and from classes and stuff like that listening to stock inbox headphones are crap and having no headphones is even worse. Everyone else on the train will absolutely hate you. Anyway, I've been running these guys for the past two years and I've absolutely loved every moment of them. You can fit actually aftermarket uh, ear silicon things. They fit in my ears absolutely perfectly and a lot of people I've recommended these guys to have also do absolutely love them. They've got a very neutral sound signature, maybe a little bit more leaning towards the bass. However, audio is subjective to every single person. So if you can try these out first, I do recommend it there, but it's sort of just a great entry level pair of earbuds, it's very hard to go wrong with the CX 3.0s from Sennheiser. And finally, we have a mouse. Now, you may be thinking, why is a mouse really important? Well, other than trackpads still sucking a lot in today's market, having a good mouse is actually really important, more so for your body than actually for using the computer. Now, if you can't afford something like an MX Master that has some really nice ergonomics, you can go with something a little bit cheaper, like this guy, the Rapu MT750, which, let's face it, is an MX Master knockoff that is very close that doesn't feature things like the infinite scroll, but all in all is very, very similar. Now, I talk about having a good quality mouse in terms of ergonomics because of the fact things like your wrist and your arm will be much better for it, especially if you're spending long hours doing research assignments or if you're into doing things like programming or you're studying IT or something like that, having a good and comfortable mouse to spend hours and hours using is absolutely invaluable. Again, another story that I've actually experienced myself is RSI issues from using a poor quality mouse. I've had my entire arm just have pains shooting up it because I've been holding a terrible quality mouse. Having something that's good and comfortable that actually fits your hand and has a nice little rest for your thumb and all that kind of stuff is really, really important. Sure, they can get pretty expensive for some ergonomic ones, but damn, you will absolutely thank yourself in a year or two's time when you don't have any wrist problems and you don't have a sore arm from using your mouse on a day-to-day -day basis. For me, I've been running the Rapu MT750. It is a low-cost mouse, but it's been absolutely perfect. It runs on a rechargeable battery, which charges up like once a month, if that, and it's perfect to go for a very long time. Um, it is Bluetooth and also has a little dongle, so you can switch between four different devices on the fly. I personally absolutely love this little mouse. Again, if you can afford it, jump up to some like an MX Master, but man, this thing is really, really decent. Everything I love about the MX Master without the whole scroll thing is available on this particular mouse. Now, if you want to know more, check out that video which we did on this particular mouse. So there we go, a few things that I will either have picked up or have picked up already for 2019 that I think is absolutely crucial for a good year in tech. Now usually these videos people suggest some laptops or some phones or some tablets or whatever and sure that is something that you can go ahead and grab but these things are things that I reckon everyone should have no exception and I'll leave them linked down in that comment sections with a couple different variations. For example, we've got the iFixer toolkit and a couple other toolkits down there if you want to grab some different options right there. Again, 
all linked down below. But if I miss something that you reckon should be on this list, let me know down in that comment section so we can build up like a cool little list right here. Guys, thanks all for watching. I'll catch you all in the next one.